Hey again guys, my name is Gabe and welcome to another episode here on RV and Modding. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing how to replace our RV's thermostat. Just like a house, um, just except uh, there's no wiring for air conditioning because it's only had, it's only controls the heating on this RV. But uh, here we go. First off, I'm going to start by showing you the thermostat I bought. It's a pretty simple, non-programmable because I'm not going to be living here full time. So, um, and if I wanted to change that, I could easily just get up out of my bed during the night, change it real quick. But so I got a, a simple one. It's digital, nicer looking than this cheap little dinky little uh, Dometic thermostat that came with it. So uh, this is what I bought, a Honeywell, <clears throat> the T2 non-programmable thermostat, which is not a sponsor by the way. Let me open it up, I'll show you what's inside. Thermostat here. Batteries. Just the instructions. If I could get them out. Instructions. Put this up over here. Put this out. All right. Seems like a simple setup. Um, here's the part where uh, the bracket that goes onto the wall. And uh, yeah, it'll go inside there, and this hooks up to it. Seems simple. Here we go. Start taking this one apart. Should be easy. I think the face plate comes out first. Let's see here. There we go. Snaps out. And it seems like it's two screws here. And it's gonna be a square drive. I'll show you guys what it looks like. You see it? It's the square drive. All the uh, RVs are basically going to be a square drive. Well, they look like a Phillips head screw. I don't know if you guys could see that. Looks like a Phillips head screw, but it's also a square drive. It's what it really is. Yeah, just the two wires, just an on-off switch. Pretty simple. I think we can knock this out real quick. So now I turn to a Phillips head. Pull this part out. It's just two screws that hold down the, uh, the wire. That. I'll show you guys up close. This is it right here. It's basically, it completes a connection, and when it's on, it's uh, it completes a connection, it turns it on, and one temperature gets to certain, the right temperature, it shuts off and it just splits the connection. And here's the two screws. One there, one there. Pretty simple, move apart pretty simply. This back here. New one. This is the bracket. Yeah. Use the same screws that came with. That that one was holding up. Change to a square drive bit. I 
it's really easy to screw into a wall like this. All it is is a really thin paneling. I'm not even using my uh, drill bit piece. Why did the heater just shut off? I'm not even using my drill, should I say? Because um, I don't want to overdo it. And uh, actually, you can strip out these little holes that you make real easily with this. See that? I'll bring you guys close then to show you. So basically you just want to level it, get it straight. You can use a level. Plus this is wall is so small. I'll judge my eye. And plus, after you put the top screw, after I put the top screw and you start threading the bottom screw in, I could basically adjust it if I need to level it out a little bit. Cut the little the oval the hole see that all right let's continue Basically, these wires right over here are going to go into the white, to where, it's, uh, where it has a W right over here, the white and the red to this one. So we're only using the heat option on this. This this thermostat does control uh, AC if we needed it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to all right, so sit right there. Snip these down a little bit because these are a little too long. Not the wires themselves, it's the actual wire that's inside that uh, that comes out that's uh that loops around to where it was screwed in on the old thermostat. And real simply, just pull back this tab. The wire, the little hole right there, and that's basically it. And the white with the red. I'm sorry, the white with the right and the red with the red. Oh, the tab actually pulls back by itself. There you go. And I'll show you guys right now. Now that's put in. That's it. Nice and simple. You see how the little tabs. Pulled back as soon as I push that in. And I think uh, your exposed wire should be a quarter, see the exposed wire should be quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. So that's why I had to snip it down. I'll show you the old wire here. If I can pick it up. There it is. It's the old extra piece of wire. That's why, that's what I was snipping before. Now, let's figure out how to. I'm gonna close this door. I need to put the proper batteries in it. I'll be right back. All right, got the two AA batteries. Off. And let 
that. Set this for. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Hold on. Maybe I should read the instructions. All right. All right. Simple. Uh, put the mode here. Put it on heat. Right now it's 46 degrees in here. It's really cold. It's actually cold and it's outside. A lot colder outside, so I'm just gonna bring the heat on and turn it on. I don't know if you guys heard that. It's off. And that's it. Let me actually bring the temperature up to like a 67 for now. While I clean up so it could be a little comfortable in here. And that's it. I think it looks a lot better. What do you guys think? A lot better than this one. That used to be here before. Look at the size difference, a little bit bigger. And it actually lights up, I don't know if you guys can tell. Lights up white with uh, black digits. And that's it. Pretty simple, looks great, it works great. And uh, I think it's a better, better little focal point as soon as you uh, walk into the camper and you see this. Uh, again, guys, thank you for uh, checking out my video. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like what I do and you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Have a good one, guys.